So, John, Mayhem Writing Company, once again. Uh, I just want to give a special thanks right now. This is uh, this is all new to me. So, like I said in the previous video that I uh, I did on uh, All Is Quiet on the Western Front, this is new. So I'm not writing it down anymore. I'm gonna I'm gonna do video uh, reviews instead. So today's video or today's review will be of uh, the 2018. Action movie, uh, Den of Thieves. It's uh, directed by Christian. Hold on a second, I have my notes. I'm still working all this out. Uh, Christian Gudikest. Uh, the screenplay was written by him as well. It was produced by Gerard Butler. Uh, and the cinematography is by Terry Stacy. This is a uh, this is an old school uh, old school action movie. Um, it stars Gerard Butler, Pablo Schreiber, who is uh, let's get this right. Um, Can't think of his name all of a sudden. That's funny, right? Uh, the guy that played uh, Sabretooth, his uh, his half brother, Shriver. I can't think of his first name all of a sudden. Anyway, that's that guy. Uh, O'Shea Jackson Jr. And if you want to feel really old, that is Ice Cube's oldest son. And then Curtis uh, Jackson, who is he sent. Um, it's a heist movie. Uh, gangster Marsak uh, Marines uh, versus. Uh, Gangster uh, L.A. Sheriff's Department. I mean, really, that's what it is. Uh, and if anybody's interested, uh, MARSOC is the United States Marine Forces Special Operations Command. So they're uh, professional ass kickers. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Pablo, uh, I'll start off with the bad guy first. Pablo, uh, his character, Pablo Schreiber's character plays a guy named Ray Merriman. He's, uh, I don't know, let's keep it real easy. He's a disenfranchised uh, Disenfranchised, uh, disenfranchised veteran, uh, him and uh, uh, Curtis's uh, character are uh, part of a, an elite, uh, part of the Marsoc team, and they're going up against, uh, they're bank robbers, and they're going to, uh, in the end, they're going to rob the Federal Reserve of L.A. Uh, and Gerard Butler's character uh, is, a, uh, <laughs> is a Detective uh, Nick O'Brien, uh, um, and he's uh, he's something else. It, it, these guys are uh, sheriff's department, but they're off a leash. I don't know how else to say that. They have a lot of latitude as to far as what they can do. A, a great line is one of the main characters that gets uh, gets brought in for questioning, and they're talking back and forth. And the guy says, "You arresting me?" And Gerard Butler's character says to him. Uh, I didn't bring my cuffs. Did you bring your cuffs? He talks to one of the other characters. Did you bring your cuffs? That's who these guys are. They don't arrest people. They either, you know, they disappear them. Like I said, they're gangsters. So basically it's a, like I said, it's a heist film. And it's really a race against who's going to, basically who's going to get to the bank first. This has never been done before. So it's an elaborate scheme. I'm not going to get into it. Um, it's an elaborate scheme how they're going to heist Federal Reserve. It's never been done before. There's like, I think it's like thirty million dollars of uh, dirty money that gets uh, that gets taken out of circulation. They're gonna try to grab it before that happens. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna tell you the, the plot too much. It's very well directed. It's very well paced. Great music. Great cinem um, Great score. Sorry. Uh, and great cinematography. Nothing. It's not fancy. It's not. How do I describe? It? It's meat and potatoes. A meat and potatoes film. Uh, I think it's on Netflix. And let me just double check that before I go off and say that. I think it's on Netflix. Yeah, it is on Netflix. Yeah, I had to subscribe to the crappy service uh, and pay my $8, $9, whatever it is, for the month uh, to watch it. Uh, it's 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 a really good movie. It's not for everybody. The the Some of the scenes are, uh, well, it's graphic. I mean, really, it's, a, it's an action movie. Uh, and the shootouts are a lot, very reminiscent of Heat. Uh, I don't know if, if anybody's ever seen that movie, one of the greatest movies of all time, uh, heist movies of all time with, uh, you know, if you don't know it, it's a great cast. Uh, directed by Michael Mann, De Niro, Val Kilmer. I, I, I'm not going to go through the whole list. It's a, it's a great film. That's a, that's a, that's a review for another day. Um, but it's really, it's excellent. You know, pacing is good. I really like the fact that it was, they stuck to the, it, it writes how I write. Right, it's very realistic. It's not they don't. There's not things in there that shouldn't be. 
And it's a very it's a, it's a serious movie. And it, and, and it, again, it goes back to this is something that I, I I have personally. Uh, it really exposes the part of how. I don't know, this is a tangent, but how badly we take care of our veterans. These guys are on their own after it seems like they're on their own after their service. You know, they give their give their their body parts, their mind, and, and sometimes their souls to a country that doesn't really appreciate it. That's a whole other conversation. But it's a race against time. Um, so who's going to win? And, and there's a pretty good twist at the end. Um, the chase scenes through L.A. Uh, it, it's something. It's really good. I I would give it a eight and a half out of ten. I mean, it's a little corny sometimes. It's a lot of. It's very tropey. You know, basic. Uh, you know, it ticks all. It ticks all the boxes of. Um, it ticks all the boxes of. Um, what an action movie should be. There is one scene that you, that, that's made it, and I didn't realize it because I've never seen the movie before. There's a scene that I'm sure a lot of people have watched on YouTube about uh, the kid that comes in to pick up uh, to pick up the daughter, and uh, 50 Cent enters the door, and um, <laughs> that's what that's from. Uh, if you if you see it on YouTube, if you type in 50 Cent meets the kid or something like that, or 50 Cent in the prom. Uh, and those group of guys that he brings in, he says, you know, he tucks his, first he tucks his, uh, he tucks his, re his colors in, and you guys, guys get the uh, red in his, I'm not going to get into that, you just, you, you know who red is, uh, red in his, in his uh, sleeve pocket to announce his colors, so he tucks that in on him and brings him into, go see, his, uh, has a talk with him, right, he, what does he say, he, it's really cool, he says, you know, 50 cents really great, he goes, uh, this is a, uh, I'm going to go harm for a second, like the classic. So he uh, brings him into the garage that you all know, and he has a talk down to the kid and scares the shit out of him, basically. Anyway, um, that's just one scene. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of good scenes. These are, these are I don't want to use the term bad guys, the, the, the L.A. Sheriff's Department, because they're operating, how do I say this? They're operating outside, but within. You know what I mean? Like the very fringes of what was permissible. Um, and then the gang, you know, criminals are going to do crime. Uh, it's a good team that they he's got together, uh, Merrick, uh, Pablo Schreiber's character. And, you know, it's just, it's the, uh, um, you know, one against the other. Uh, what did I say, eight and a half out of ten? Yeah, that's about right. Eight and three quarter, maybe. Uh, it's, just, it's just a little bit predictable. You know what's going to happen in the end, more or less, other, other than the twist that happens. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a good film. It, it, it's something to remind guys of my generation or girls of my generation, I'm thinking a couple of people in particular who love this kind of aggressive, uh, aggressive masculine movie. Um, and it's, it's, it's a, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. There's going to be a sequel coming out eventually. Uh, I think they were talking about, hold on, I got to check. Uh, they were... Let's see here. Blah, 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 blah. Words, production, filming locations. It was shot in, uh, it wasn't shot in LA, ironically. It was shot in Georgia. Uh, they shot on an Alexa, by the way. It, uh, and it didn't do too bad, man. It made $45 million against a budget of, what, 30 or, I'm sorry. You know, that made $45 million in the United States and uh, about 80, 80 and a half worldwide against a, a $30 million production. And then you got a double... You got to double it. Uh, when they say, just so you guys know what goes on, when they say the budget is this, like say it was thirty million dollars, that's for the film. Another thirty is spent on um, on marketing. So, you know, like when a film makes, they say it makes fifty million dollars. It's making fifty million dollars after it's made double its budget. Uh, that's why a lot of people go, uh, "Solo lost money." Uh, it did. Because it didn't clear, it made it might have made up its initial budget, but didn't clear the marketing budget that they they needed to clear. Anyway, that's on a whole other business side of uh, filmmaking. And uh, let me see, the sequel's coming up. Uh, uh, yeah, reply. All right, so they're just talking about it. So 2018, they're talking about it. It's 2022 now, almost 2023. So you figure, I would think, you know, 23, 24 for a sequel. Worth seeing. Um, it's 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 not short either. It's I think it's. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, let me double check here. Yeah, I'm doing this ad hoc. Too bad. Uh, 140 minutes. So 
two and was it two and twenty and twenty two, two hours and twenty minutes. Um, if you don't look at the ratings, don't go to friggin' Rotten Tomatoes and all these generic websites because it's run by people that don't like masculine men. I'm not going to even sugarcoat that anymore. That's, that's the truth. Um, but go see it. It, it. You know, what are you doing? You're sitting in front of you know you got nothing to do for two hours and twenty minutes. Watch this movie. It's great. Um, and that's really about it for now. I'll, uh, I'm going to be a couple up. Uh, let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on a kind of a schedule. So every figure, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I should have a new video coming out on a new review on, on whatever uh, film I watched. I think I'm going to do the Northman next, but don't hold me to it. Uh, wild movie. Phew. Wild. Uh, and that's really about it. Thanks for watching. And, uh, I uh, hope the video was, I'm sorry, the audio was better because last time the audio was terrible and I, figured, I sorted that problem out. And, um, and here we are. All right. Thanks for watching. All right. Take care. All right. Thanks.